We begin tonight with a devastating story out of Newark. A family right now desperately searching for answers after a sixth grade boy collapses and dies during a football practice. Yeah, they say he did not have any prior health issues. He didn't know that was going to be his last day. Raven is inconsolable. Her first child, Elijah Jordan Brown Garcia, left his Newark home Friday afternoon and headed to the Westside Park football field to do what he loved the most, but never came back home. And I didn't yes, the phrase died suddenly has been trending on social media recently. The parents of a 12-year-old boy are desperately looking for answers after their son collapsed and died suddenly during football practice. He didn't get hit, like no contact or anything. He ran about 20 yards, just dropped dead. The parents are looking answers into this. This is not the only case. We have situations like horror, 29-year-old mother of three died suddenly after sudden cardiac arrest. So you will see it clearly how situation like this has been surfacing on social media like never before. Uh, heart attack deaths have become more common across all age groups since this. Yes, according to this article, CBS News medical contributor Celine insinuated Monday that the young people who suffer an unprecedented spike in later heart attack during the first two years of the pandemic might only have themselves to blame. Most at risk in this case, according to Cedar Sinai Hospital, the number of heart attack deaths among 25 to 44 year olds in the U.S. over the first two years of the pandemic was 30 percent higher than predicted. Dr. Celine Gounder is here on set with us uh, to talk more about it. She's editor at large for public health at Kaiser Health News, and she is also an infectious disease specialist and epidemiologist and a CBS News medical uh, contributor. Dr. Gounder, thank you for being here. Uh, what stood out to you in this study? I think the fact that you're seeing such a big increase specifically in the youngest age group, so the 25 to 44 year olds, you saw this 30% increase in the risk of death from heart attack. And that really is quite striking. That's not a group, an age group in which you normally see heart attacks, much less dying from a heart attack. So the, the, to do a study like this, you look at the years prior to the pandemic and the typical rate of heart attack death in that age group, and then you see it increase and you wonder what's the new variable. And so the pandemic is that new variable? That's right. So these uh, researchers looked at 10 years of data across the U.S., all the death certificates that get filed with the CDC, uh, that data. And so what they saw is prior to the pandemic, heart attack deaths were actually dropping. And then that trend reverses, and you see those deaths go up, especially among that youngest age group during the pandemic. And do we know why the why younger people might be more at risk? Or we don't know for sure. And in fact, these death certificates are probably not even capturing the fact that they might have had just saying, "Did you die from a heart attack or not?" Um, what we do know, however, is that younger people were less likely to protect themselves against older people, less likely to mask, less likely to take other mitigation measures, and they were also farther back in line to get back. So they were not protected with that until later in the pandemic. Those might have been a factor here. So hmm. basically, I mean, you could have had perhaps a mild infection and of Yes, you have seen the clip that young people during the pandemic were not protected some were unwilling, you know, to take the job, especially not putting up the face covering. That is the reason we are facing what is happening. I don't question science. I report just what medical practitioner they are saying. I don't want to be called a conspiracy theorist like what I've been seeing recently. If you realize the rate of heart attack is so high recently, especially with young people. And I expected a medical practitioner like this should give us a vivid explanation to what is happening. But this is all I get. We were not protected. Young people were not protected. They rejected to take this job. That is the two reasons I can outline from what you said. So, who knows? Like you saw at the beginning of the clip, that was a situation that happened recently. The parents are demanding answers after their child collapsed and passed away. I don't know what exactly happened. 
This clip is not in relation to this. I decided to bring this, you know, just to enlighten you so you can see the rate at which certain things like this are happening. Just take a look at this. We begin tonight with a devastating story out of Newark. A family right now desperately searching for answers after a sixth grade boy collapses and dies during a football practice. Yeah, they say he did not have any prior health issues and that if someone in charge of the football program had known CPR, maybe they could have saved him. News of New Jersey's Eliezer Marta he is here in studio with more on this story. Eliezer, what happened? Such a tragedy and his mom told us that he just turned 12 two months ago. Elijah's mom, she said that it was just a regular day for him. He went to school at the Kibrace Academy Charter School. He was actually dressed up as in the 90s. That was the theme of that day. His mom told us Elijah and his 10 year old brother then came back home from school. They changed clothes and took off to football practice. Now the last image that little brother has of his big brother is seeing him dead on the field. Oh God, he was so happy. This is what a mother with her heart ripped apart looks like. So happy to be here. He didn't know that was going to be his last day. Raven is inconsolable. Her first child, Elijah Jordan Brown Garcia, left his Newark home Friday afternoon and headed to the Westside Park football field to do what he loved the most, but never came back home. And I didn't know that me sending him to practice. Raven says the 12 year old had been a member of the Essex County Predators, a team owned by Big 21 of Bloomfield for three years. Elijah went to practice with his 10 year old brother, Makaya. No contact. It was just drills that he didn't get hit. He was a healthy kid. It's such a sudden death. While an official cause of Elijah's death is unknown, according to the Mayo Clinic. I feel extremely sad to see this. You know, look at the pain the mother is going through. It is extremely sad to see that she's passing through this. May his soul rest in peace. So you will see exactly what is happening. We all saw the case of Dama, you know, he suffered cardiac arrest, you know, he survived. He had recent interviews and a lot of people speculated that this actually happened. At the end of the day, a question surfaced, he rejected to respond to the question, you know, and it keeps on going on like this. People are actually seeking to know what is happening, but nobody is actually ready to talk about what is happening. I pray some real good medical practitioner will stand up one day to explain to explain what is going on. Thank you guys. If you love what I'm doing here, you want to support the channel, you can see different ways to support me. There is super thanks on the comment section, membership, 